Hi, Jeff Ogan from Sport Dad Sports Photography and Camera Bits Ambassador. Back with another short video to show you how to add the player names to photos of a game. In this video, I'll show you a couple of different techniques to add player names to each image using Photo Mechanic. Then I'll show you how to use those keywords in Smart Collections in Lightroom for those of you that may be shooting for a particular team throughout a season. The goal is to make you faster and more efficient when captioning and keywording so you'll spend less time in front of the keyboard and more time shooting. I hope you find this of value. Let's dive into Photo Mechanic and take a look at how we would add the player names to this example of a lacrosse game that I'm going to shoot. So the first step is I'm going to create the code replacement file, then I'm going to load the code replacement file, set my ingest dialog, set my metadata template, do a quick test, go do my shoot, then ingest, call rate, caption, crop, etc. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you these are the code replacement files. These are tab delimited text files. They could also be TSV files if you're using Google Sheets. So I've created these. Now let's go into Photo Mechanic and the next step is to load them. So I go Edit, Settings, Set Code Replacements. There are a couple from the previous game that I shot, so let's remove those. Now let's add, go to my Photo Mechanic. There we go, Photo Mechanic folder. And I've loaded them and OK. Next, I'm going to set my ingest dialog, so Command G. I'm going to come here. I've saved Sport Dad, two team, single game ingest. Great. Now I'm going to go here. Sport Dad, single game ingest. That's 1A. And then I'm going to start filling out this information on the specific game that I'm about to shoot. So now that I've filled out most of this, I'm going to hit close and I'm going to hit close and go shoot the game. Back in a minute. So now I photograph the game, come here, now I'm going to cull and crop and do all that sort of good stuff, but now the step I want to show you is I'm going to whittle this down and let's go to some of the favorite few that I want to caption for this game. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in, hit the I button, and I'm going to click, double click this and go, that is uh, U of T 24 equals um, of the University of Toronto Blues uh, battles equals Guelph Griffin number three during the men's lacrosse game. And I'm done. Save, move on to the next. So now that I've finished captioning each one, you see I've added the player names here and I've gone through and captioned each one of these images. So these are the images that I might submit to the uh, school. But now what I also want to do after the game is go in and add to the metadata the name of each one of the players so that we have on file images of each of these players throughout the season. So what I can do is I can do U of T 5 equals and move on to the next one, but you can see that that's going to be a fairly slow process. So here's the way I would do it. I'm going to come in here and well, first I want to show you the um, roster list. So here's the roster list I want to use because I'm going to be shooting this team for the entire season. I'm going to come in here, edit my keywords, and I'm going to import that roster and because I'm going to reuse this, I'm going to say I'm going to save that and call it 2021 U of T Men's Lacrosse. Hit OK. There, now you see that I've saved that and I can come back and reuse it an another time if I choose. So I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to come in and this is number 24. I'm going to add him. Save Next. There's 24 again. I'm going to add him. And because you see I'm not typing any numbers or names, um, I'm not making any mistakes. And you can see how quickly this is going to go. Obviously, lots of pictures of number 24. That's my son. So I'm going to go through here and just go through the entire process.
So there, now we've added the names of each one of the players of the U of T men's lacrosse team into the metadata for each of the images from this game. Okay, now that we've added all the player names from the University of Toronto team to the keywords, let's take all of these pictures and drop them into Lightroom. So I'm gonna select all and then drop it onto the Lightroom icon. Okay, now that these images are in Lightroom, so what I'm gonna go do is create a smart collection. So let's assume this is how I'm setting it up for the season. I'm gonna be shooting all the games for this team. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna create a collection set and I'm gonna call it 2021 U of T men's varsity lacrosse team. Create that. So now I'm gonna create a smart collection for each one of the players. So what I'm gonna do is bring up the roster information here. I'm gonna copy that and by copying and pasting, I'm actually reducing the risk of making a typo. So I've got the capture date in the range of, so I'm gonna cover the entire season uh, with these dates. Now again, don't pay attention to these dates. This is actually just for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna say my metadata keywords contains lacrosse and then I'm going to add the uh, me other metadata the keywords um, is going to contain that I'm going to get rid of the number here and we see over here that there are zero images but now let's uh, add one more I'm going to create a um, duplicate this one and I'm going to come in here and rename that to one that I know has some pictures, obviously, is this one. So I'm going to come in here, go like that, come in here, go like that, get rid of the number. Boom. And now we see the pictures of Brendan Vogan. So now let's go through and do for the rest of the team. So now that I've done creating all the smart collections, I come through here and I see this is a bit unusual. Ron McDonald has 33 images. So let's take a look here. And because I've used keywords contains Ron McDonald, it's going to find ones that say uh, have Ron and or McDonald. So what I really should have done was contains all. So now I come back here and you see I don't have any pictures, but we have a picture of Ken, a bunch of Brendan, a couple of pictures of Andy. And there you have it. So now I can, throughout the season, take a look here and see I need more pictures of some of these other players. I've already got Larry. I need some more pictures of JC. And there you go. So that was a couple of different ways to add player names to images in Photo Mechanic. And then use those keywords in Smart Collections in Lightroom. If you find this of value, hit that like and subscribe button and please feel free to leave comments and suggestions on what videos you'd like me to record in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.